When we think of our major cultural spaces on our landscape, what readily comes to mind is Oystinstown, all that it represents for the Barbadian people and those from abroad with whom it is shared weekly. Government recently voted the sum of $5 million to improve this cultural hub for the enjoyment of all. Minister in the Prime Minister's office with responsibility for our culture, Senator Dr. Chantal Monroe Knight visited the area over the weekend and made that link with oysters and culture. Oysters is one of those cultural hubs um, in Barbados and that certainly the division of culture um, is hoping that we can help further build out. Made that commitment to Oystens, you know, a couple of years ago when I came into this ministry because I understood that fundamentally when you come to Oystens, you're coming to a piece of Barbados that has what we would call it is a hub for our intangible cultural heritage. And across the world, countries right now are investing in protecting their intangible cultural heritage. Minister Monroe Knight is pleased with the work being done and was eager to point out the new style of building for the benefit of all. Um, these renovations are going to last throughout a period of time. One of the things that the government is doing um, is making sure that within Oysins as well, we're building what we're calling climate resiliency um, as well. So when we talk about upgrading the stalls, etc., it's not just for now, but we recognize that also as well we have hurricanes coming, storms. So we want to make sure that we are then able to also help Oysters as well to, to, to be able to withstand that. Chairman of the Oysters Bay Garden Committee, Kimar Harris, supports the climate resilient style of building and pointed out an area that will benefit directly. The vendors were complaining for a while, especially in the hurricane season, about the significant rain because of the climate change and stuff that we are having, that they wanted additional covering. We didn't want to put the traditional tents because when you have also the same bad weather, persons is going to have to come here to take them down. If we put a permanent structure, and this was consultation with all of the vendors, and we decided we can put covered canopies one time for here, um, all the shops are being painted in fresh paint of, and we're going back in the same color that they were in before and we're digging up the back road because this is posing a serious challenge with the drainage system. There are 32 shops now, 32, okay. so all the backs and all the fronts uh -huh. will have extra canopies. Those that we can't put canopies based on how it is is designed we will give them fresh tanks. So people see the upgrades and what is happening here and think it is about structures. What the government is doing and what the Division of Culture is partnering with um, the Ministry of Environment with um, as they are responsible for the fresh market um, is really an investment in the people of Oystens. Meanwhile work continues in Oystens Sound and is expected to be completed by the end of May. Joshua Hinkson CBC News.